<sighs> I just went to the gym. And today I have a goal. I always have a goal every time I go to the gym. I always, always, always have a goal. Um, and I have a and I have a workout template. I have a plan. I follow Candido's linear program, and with that, with the linear program, it's easy. You already have everything planned out. All all that's really left on a week to week basis is the weights, the rep, the set scheme, everything else, the exercises you can change up, but don't change them too frequently. But today, I uh, I had a goal of hitting 265 for three sets of six on the squat and 300 or 305 for two sets of six on the deadlift. And it sucks because on the squat, as I was warming up, everything felt really good. But when I when I warmed up on my last warm up set, it moved really really slow. So I was like, hey, you know, forget it. You know, I'm I'm the type of guy who can grind out weights on the squat. And on the squat on my first set on two sixty five, um, I only got four reps, and I dumped the weight. I went for the fifth one and I dumped the weight. And I have a friend, Fred. He's really strong, dude. Really strong, dude. And every time I'm squatting, he always critiques me on my form because, hey, squatting a lot, of, squatting weight or trying to get stronger is one thing. But in order for you to become the strongest you can be, you have to have your technique down. And me as a beginner, you know, one of the reasons why I'm on a linear program is because, hey, not only can I get the new games but because of the frequency I can really step up on the technique and I mean I, I've never failed on the linear progression I've been working on it for like six months there was definitely things that I was doing completely different compared to when I would initially squat the things I did was on the uh, when I was descending I would go a lot slower. I was going really slow. Um, and I know Omar made a video, I think like top three tips on the squat. He says, well, one of the tips are, hey, don't, don't worry. Well, he basically said, don't dive bomb, but don't take it slow. So find a medium in there. You don't have to you know, go down with the time on attention, the tempo, the bodybuilding type of shit. No, this is squatting. Um, squatting a lot of weight is pretty much a lot of volume and a lot of hard work. And uh, I, uh, you know, I did go really slow. Why? Because a lot of my friends who would watch me squat, um, a lot, a lot of the things I had problems with with the squat. I mean, naturally, I am. Uh, compared to squat bench and deadlift, naturally, I would say I'm um, better at squatting more to bench and deadlifting. But I, uh, you know, I I did have a lot of technique issues. You know, I always hit depth. That was never a problem. I would always try to go as low as you can. But now Alan Thrawn made a video saying, "Hey, when you're going low bar." Don't go as low as you can. Just try to hip dip. Everything else, that's just like using momentum. It's a big stretch reflex. You're not working on strength. You're more working on your bouncing. Or you're being, yeah, you're more working on your momentum rather than your strength, which is what you're trying to build. But I would always have horrible butt wink. Uh, maybe it's because I'm so fucking fat. Maybe that could be a reason why, but I did get weightlifting shoes and that went away as well as me just doing some ankle mobility stuff me working a lot on dorsi flexion omar made a video about this and i took the stretches he does or the stretches that he recommends but squats was just horrible today uh, i got really frustrated and 
every video I have some sort of goal or every workout video I have I have some sort of goal and the goal for this week I failed and it sucked I got really frustrated I'm not gonna lie I got really fucking frustrated and the goal for this week's video is hey even though you should even though if you're missing weight or not missing even though if you're you're not hitting your goals on your lifts and it's starting and it's like you missed your lift after weeks you've been on this consistent rhythm don't get frustrated it's, it's just one day it's, don't beat yourself on this you know Johnny Candido he himself uh, uses uh, auto regulation I follow his program so I did some auto regulation I'm not I'm not sure about it but I did do it I'm not sure what I mean I'm not sure is I'm not sure if I did it correctly but I did some auto regulation on the squats and uh, it, just don't beat yourself on this and so f in order for me to feel better about myself was that after squat I go into deadlift because that's what you know Johnny Candido's linear program is and on after squats I was supposed to hit 300, 305 for two sets of six. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. This is, I'm getting really fucking pissed off. And I feel like with me in this mood, you know, I can get really pumped up at the gym. Obviously, because you have to have that mental, you got to have that mentality. You got to be, you can't just be fucking around, especially on the top heavy set. So with me, not only am I getting pumped up, but I'm fucking pissed now. I'm fucking frustrated. So hey, I said fuck that. I'm gonna put three fifteen on my on the bar. I put three plates. I got that shit for eight reps. <sighs> Did I have good form? Uh, I'd say yeah. Fuck, I couldn't record it. Shit, fuck. But yeah, I I feel like I I had proper technique on that one. How do I know I have proper technique? Because my back, my lower back wasn't fucking killing me. Usually, if your lower back is killing you after deadlifts, if you're feeling like a sharp pain on deadlifts, you're... It's time to go. And plus... Um, yeah. I don't know what I'm going on. But what I'm trying to say is... If you... Are... Have... When you're working out and you miss a weight, don't get frustrated. Just don't. I know it sucks. You, you've you hit this weight multiple times and for this some odd reason, you can't hit this shit. That's fucking bullshit. I agree. <sighs> but what I'm trying to say is, okay, today it was not my day for that. I'm going to go and try to hit a PR. On something else. Mark Bell himself said that you only, when he was interviewing John Cena, you can only hit PRs when you try something new. So, hey, fuck squats for today. I only got four reps on the first set. Fuck that goddamn shit. Load up 315 on the deadlift. Let me hit that shit. I got it for eight. So now I'm kind of ambivalent. I'm not going to lie. You know, I am kind of frustrated on my squad. But hey, I'm feeling a lot better because I hit something that I never thought I could hit on the deadlift. Which is pretty still fucking weak. My squad, my bench, and my deadlift are all fucking weak. Um, but now, instead of me trying to beat myself on it, I'm going to try to come up with a plan. My plan... For squats, for deadlifts, with Alan Thrall's new video that came out, I feel I am really strong with that. This, and for the future, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Alan Thrall made a video, how to deadlift, five easy steps that starting strength came up with, and it's a really solid, it's, it's a really solid, um, ritual for you to come up on the deadlift 
and Austin Baraki himself commentated and went more into detail on these exact five steps. And so on the deadlift, I feel like my technique is good. On bench, I think my technique on the bench is really good because I have this theory. And again, Fred, you know, I talked to him about it. With him, it didn't really work out because, well, I'll, I'll show my theory on the squat, bench, and deadlift, on the technique, is that the more naturally worse you are at a lift, for example, me, I suck at benching, the more you have to be meticulous on the technique. Yes, when you're going to go for a max, when you're going to go for like 95% of your wonder at max, yes, every fucking detail matters. Every. Even when warming up, every fucking detail matters. But you have to be even more anal about that when you are at a lift that you suck at. So me, I am a horrible bencher, naturally. But because I worked on it, because I watched so many videos on it, that's the best lift I am now, or... Because I had to put so many hours in the gym, and since I had to watch so many of these qualified and smart ass and strong ass motherfuckers, I got better at it. Whereas on the squat, oh, naturally I'm good at that, blah, blah, blah. You know, just put this weight on my back, let me squat, bitch. But yeah, um, that, that was basically my theory. It didn't work out with Fred. Um, he's a horror. Or, no, or he's a great bencher. <laughs> he has a good bench. He can bench 315, or his best benching competition was 315, but um, he himself says that he is naturally worse at it, and his technique is pretty bad compared to the other two lifts. So my goals now are... I'm not going to go ass to grass. I'm going to go with Alan Thrall. Once I hit death, I'm going to come right back up. Because I do have a problem with dive bombing. I'll go down and I'll kind of bounce. I'll go down. I'll go down. I'll be like, oh. Yeah, I'll go down, down, down. And I'll kind of bounce and come back up. At that point, I'm not using strength. I'm using more momentum. Uh, it's a big stretch reflex. Rather than that, I feel like I'm, I just want to hit depth, hip, hip crease below the knee, and come back up. And that way, I won't be using momentum. I'll be able to control the weight more. Um, <laughs> uh, less range of motion, which, hey, every powerlifter will love. Um, or every powerlifter's dream is to reduce the range of motion. I'm not a powerlifter. I'm too weak to be a powerlifter. Mm. Yeah, so again, let me just to reiterate for the fifth fucking time. My goal on the squat, because this video is mainly for how to... No, this, I'm just rambling on. Really? Fuck me. But hey, what I'm basically trying to say is on my squat, I'm going to try to progress. How am I going to try to progress? This time, I'm going to go with somewhat of a hybrid style. And by hybrid, I only mean this. Uh, Johnny Candido has a hybrid squad tutorial. What, he, uh, what I'm basically going to do is that I am going to have the bar somewhere in a low bar positioning. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but... A little bit above on my rear delts. It's gonna be a little bit above there. I'm gonna try to hit depth or I'm just gonna try to hit depth. I'm not gonna go any further for that. I'm not. Um, I feel like it's pointless now, especially because Alan Thrawn made a video. And I am going to descend faster. I used to dive bomb a lot. 
today I took that shit real fucking slow and maybe that's why I hit I didn't hit my weight. But I'm gonna try to descend a little bit faster but not dive bomb and work on ankle mobility because goddamn man. My shins and my calves and on the the uh the abduction side. <laughs> The outer lateral side of my uh, of my shins and my calves, they start hurting, and it's not muscle; it's bone that starts hurting. I feel like I'm gonna snap that shit in that. Again, don't get frustrated. Try to hit a PR in something else. It's just one day. If you are missing weight on a consistent basis but you're sleeping right you're managing stress you're eating right recovery is pretty much spot on it's, it's more than likely it's a program issue but yeah, just don't beat yourself on it <laughs>